Hi, this is Steve. I want to show you how easy it is to get information out of project accounting. There's a number of ways to do it, but what I want to show you is an ad hoc way to get information out using SmartList Builder. So let's take a look at it. First of all, let's take a look at a project. I set up this contract and I have a number of projects in it. And they're pretty simple. Let's take a look at this one here. I've got two things. I'm going to have some fees on this project and I've scheduled them out. You can see that I've got fees in different months. And then I also have just a simple budget. I have some timesheet data here and I also have that spread out in different months. So what I want to do is I want to get a report that shows me the budget for this particular project and all my projects that I have of this nature. So let's go ahead and do that. And what I decided to do was I decided to use SmartList Builder to create a smart list that would give me this information. So let's take a look at what I did. I'll go into SmartList Builder and we'll take a look at SmartList that I created. It's this one right here and there's only one table. It's this table here. This is also table PA01304, but it's just one table and has all the information that I want. So I select that table and I select some default values that I want in my smart list. I can always add other ones later, but I'm going to start with these. And the reason I use smart list builder instead of Excel reports is that I want to see that first. I want to be able to easily look at that result before I commit it to um, Excel report. So let's take a look at it. Go in the smart list here. It's under project accounting smart list and it's this one right here. Let's take a look at that. Here's the total smart list. I'm pulling the project number, the cost category, and then information about that particular project and cost category. And the reason I chose this table is because it has the information that I want, but it also has the period IDs and the years because I'm going to use that to create a spread of th these costs and these fees over a period of time. So let's take a look at that. So I did that. And then if I go back to my smart list builder, and I started in smart list builder, but then what I really want to do is I want to move this into Excel reports and all I have to do is duplicate it. I just hit duplicate and it's going to duplicate it into Excel reports. Let's go into Excel reports and take a look at that the Excel report builder. And that's right here. So I'm going to pull this up. I had done this previously. So here it is in the Excel report builder. I'm going to publish that. It's going to publish out to my Excel reports folder. So I already did that. Now let's take a look at it in Excel reports. My reports are stored here under Excel reports and I'm just going to scroll down and find the ones in project. And here they are. This is the one that I just created. So I'm going to select that, view it. It's going to go right to Excel. Now what I want to do is I want to add one field here. I've got all the fields I need, but I want the fees and I want the expenses in one field so that when I do a pivot table for this, it'll show up uh, in the right place. So what I'm do, going to do is just add a column here and I'll just call it um, report. And it's a simple calculation. I'm going to go out and get my fees here. And they're located right here. So I'm going to select that. And then I'm going to subtract the costs. And I think those are back over here a little bit uh, right here. So I'm going to take this field, PA fee amount, and I'm going to subtract from it the total cost. So this will give me my budgeted numbers for this particular project. So I'm going to hit Enter. And I'm in Office 2010. So I'm going to move that all the way down. So that becomes a column now that I can use in my pivot table. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to insert a pivot table. It's going to take all this information, put it in a nice pivot table. This is exactly what I want. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spread this by period ID. So I'm going to pull that down into columns. I want to filter on the year. So I'm going to put that in here. And I want to sort this by project number and then also cost category. Now the value that I just created, that's the one I want in my report. It's going to show up at the bottom here, report. I'm going to put that in there. Um, I'm going to make it look a little prettier here. So let's open that up. And I'm going to change the number format right here. And I don't need pennies. So let's do that. 
There we go. And now I'm going to spruce this up a little bit. Uh, for one thing, I don't need this zero period, so I'm going to take that out. I also want to look at just a particular year, so I'm going to select that year here. And I want to move the fee schedule, which is my income, up to the top. So I just right click on that and hit go to move, and I'm going to move fee schedule to the beginning. So it's going to reorganize my rows here. And then I also want just uh, some of these projects. I got all this project data. I'm really not interested in all of them. I've just got a few. So um, let me go back here. I just got a few. So I'm just going to select uh, these here. And those are the ones I want. And there's my result. So now I've got by project and by cost category and fees. A nice little P&L stretched out through multiple months, and I can see that information here. I've got my income. I've got my expenses coming in as a negative amount. The total is up here in the summary line. You can see that right here. So that was an easy example of how I can easily get information out of project accounting using just one table, using Excel reports to get that information, and then also format in a way that makes it easy for me to use, and I can also refresh that data anytime I want to.